Have you ever seen the beautiful hand-carved corset busks of history? Wooden busks were regularly used in corsets up until the invention of the split metal busk, and they provided support, stiffening, and figure shaping both to the corset and stays, as well as to the wearer of said corset. When I made my Regency stays, since they contained no boning, the main method of stiffening was the wooden busk in the front, and I absolutely loved the feeling and the posture support of this wooden busk, as I talk about in a previous video, so definitely check that out. It will be linked either in the cards or in the description. Now, what were carved sweetheart busks? Well, considering that busks were worn literally next to a lady's heart, it was considered a deliciously romantic gesture for her lover, fiancé, or husband to carve an intricate design into a wooden busk and present it as a gift. These carvings were stunningly detailed, tiny, and often contained designs symbolic of love and marriage. When the lovely Rebecca of Wild Rose Atelier offered to send me one of her stunningly high quality wooden busks to carve a design into, I jumped at the opportunity. If you are looking for a wooden busk for a corset or a stays, especially if you plan on carving it, I can't recommend Rebecca's busks enough. They are hand carved by an artisan from solid maple wood, are deliciously solid and luxuriously smooth, and offered me, as a beginner, a wonderful introduction into the art of busk carving. Now the great thing about Rebecca's online shop, Wild Rose Atelier, is that it is a one-stop shop for all of your historical costuming accessories, like stockings, garters, and even stunning bespoke corsets. Can't recommend her work enough. On to the carving. I penciled my design from an extant carved sweetheart busk in Patterns of Fashion 5. This busk was from 1773, as it has this date engraved on the back, and was very likely a token from a lover, as the design contained a double heart motif, and the extant busk itself was carved from sycamore wood, and apparently sycamore groves and lovers have a strong poetic connection. I chose to make a design inspired by this one rather than an exact copy. Now, incidentally, this design on the bus contains several six-petal rosettes, which I immediately recognized as the home I grew up in as a child, which my dad himself built from top to bottom, contains several of this exact symbol carved into the house itself and into several pieces of handmade furniture that my dad made. Now, upon looking up the six-petal rosette, I find that it is actually a traditional symbol of protection for the home, and was often traditionally carved into beams of homes. So, back to our historical busk. This leads me to believe that the couple involved in this particular busk were probably engaged or married, and that makes perfect sense why the busk would have home protection symbols on it. I began by lightly penciling on some guidelines onto my wooden busk, namely the center line of the busk itself, as well as vertical guidelines, so the half point of the length of the busk and then the quarter points between those. And these form the guidelines for how I would space the diamonds that I would later draw on for my design. And now I'm just penciling on my heart motif that will be carved onto this heart shape that's on the wood of the busk itself. And this is a shape that we do actually see in historical extant wooden busks. And now I'm just adding more of the intricate details of the design with harder, more crisp lines of my pencil. Here is my finished design all penciled in and ready to be carved. Okay, I opted to use my oh so handy Dremel drill to carve this design, though it is obviously not historically accurate. 
I had a few different types of tips ready to go and I did some experimentation before settling on what seemed like the best option, which was to begin with a wider, more ball-shaped tip of bit for the Dremel drill, which made the initial nice deep indentations on my lines for the design. I am not an expert design carver by any means. This is basically my first time doing anything like this, but I think it turned out pretty well. So there is my first center motif done, which is one of those six petal rosettes that I told you about. And that's what I did with the first wider, more ball-shaped tip of bit for the Dremel drill. You can see it got the indentations nice and deep, but not too defined yet. And now I'm going in with my more precisely shaped bit. This is more shaped like a pointy pen. And I'm just making those lines a little more crisp and defined now that they're in place. Adding in all of those little details that are a part of the original design. Though I must admit that I did not do the design as much justice as could have been done by a more experienced carver. I am very happy with the final result for my first time doing anything like this. I hope you enjoyed joining me on this corset busk carving adventure and if you are wanting to try a corset busk whether for carving or just for using in a corset or stays i can't recommend rebecca's busks enough and you can find them on wild rose atelier on etsy or she has a website which will be linked in the description they are just wildly high quality and a great experience to work with Thanks so much for watching this video and stay tuned for my next video, which will be about how I made my 1850s hand embroidered corset. The accompanying blog post for this video will be linked in the description as well as all of my social media accounts. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube for more historical sewing videos. See you all soon.